and good evening east africa now welcome to yet another power packed episode of the desk where we're actually going to be talking to a young man who is very 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 um knowledgeable when it comes to making money and he has actually turned his skill that he got from school into productivity some people actually get their papers and they end up doing something else but he went to school for it he has a passion for it and he has actually turned into and it has he has turned it into an um income generating activity now more than ever i am shadrach shagafki sami now if it's wednesday it's all about the desk thank you very much for keeping yourselves glued on to u24 television we trust that every time you watch u24 you inspired you motivated and above all you are educated like tonight you're going to be educated how to turn your skill into a money making um venture the man in the chair tonight ladies and gentlemen is not a very old man he's under 30 but guess what He's been able to do his company. In most circles, he's known as the plumber, Mr. Plumber. Yes, you heard it right. He studied plumbing, and guess what? He has done something for himself. Mr. Timothy Baliejusa, welcome to the show. Thank you, Shadra. Good Thank to see you, you man. Much. It's good to be here. Um, so, yes, um, I am Timothy the Plumber. The I'll plumber. Say. Yes, also mm. known as Mr. Plumber now and then in certain circles. In certain circles. Yes. Like everyone calls you Mr. Plumber, Mr. Plumber. Yes. You're so proud of plumbing. Well, yes, uh, I am very proud of plumbing. I must say it's the passion I have for it. Right. Yes. Um, it's, it's very, very, it's something, it's a part of me basically. Where did it start? How did you start and you said, hey, I want to do plumbing? Well, ordinarily, no child at the age of 6 or 12 is asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? And right. they say, I want to be a plumber. Right. So I cannot say it started long ago. Mm -hmm. um, my journey in the you know, plumbing industry began around uh, 2014. Okay. Yes, around late 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, in my senior six back then, and I that was, was thinking, pretty early. Yes, that was it. Well, oh, come on, senior six back. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, so I was in my senior six back, and uh, were looking at. I was looking at the courses to do. You know, after senior six, right. go on to campus, get a job. Right. And I'm looking at. You know, what should we do? What should I do with mm -hmm. myself? I've always wanted to be a lawyer. Right. Uh, I think that you know that. Yeah, you I know, know that. that. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, so I've always wanted to be a lawyer right. because, you know, arguing, debate, it really, right. it, it um, something part of me. me. Yes, it's, right. uh, it's another mm -hmm. part of me. Um, but after doing some research, speaking to a few lawyers, uh, you know, reading a bit, I realized, well, in as much as the world does need more lawyers, and yes, lawyers are great, we need plumbers. More. We need more plumbers. We need uh, we need more technical people, people with a hands-on skill, and so that is why I ventured into this industry. Wow! Yes. From law to plumbing. From law to plumbing, yes, sir. They're not even, they're not even similar. There is yeah, no collinearity <laughs> whatsoever. There, there is absolutely no correlation. I must say, in the beginning, there was no passion, there was no love, no desire. Right. It was just the forces of demand and supply. It was right. simple economics. Right. Yes, right. it was right. simple economics. People need this you be this that was it but uh you know as time went on as you know i studied it became you know i, I just fell in love with everything and it's been wonderful since you look sharp in a suit so you get in, in an overall sometimes <laughs> oh come on i was in an overall five minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> yes the suit is for you you know when I, I know <laughs> yeah when i'm in rome i look like a roman like a roman yes sir um <laughs> Uh, otherwise, you know, I spend my days when I'm not, you know, working on some paperwork. I'm on site managing the construction. Sometimes I'm even personally under the kitchen sink right. handling my clients. Um, and uh, yes, so I'm often in an overall. You'll see right. An overall. So you just say personally. That means sometimes you get the jobs, but you don't do it personally. So tell me well, about your, you have a company, you have a group of plumbers. What, do you, what, is, what is that arrangement? Well, um, some might say I have a battalion of plumbers. <laughs> Yes, so what Mr. Plumber does, um, yeah. because I do have a company, yes, what we do is we are trying to revolutionize the industry. Right. We are trying to move it from, you know, the old age of where when you need a plumber, you look, you know, you call your friend, then you call your neighbor, then you call the other, you know, and then whoever they recommend is right. whoever you go with. You don't really have a choice. Right. And if they mess up, you can't really do anything about that. Maybe right. you could go to police, but that you know that's a whole other the, process. Like there's no so centralized exactly. place where you there can find no them. There's no centralized place yeah. where you can find them. Mm. So Mr. Plumber provides you with plumbing services from professionals at a professional level. Um, so basically, household plumbing, construction, everything. Uh, we we take care of that 
right from the get -go. Before we actually talk about in depth how you came up with the vision and everything. Yes, sir. Talk to a child who is out there and they think that, you know, these skills or what we call courses mm. is something that uh, maybe someone has failed in life. Because you wanted to profession to do law yes. professionally. Anyone would want to go to Macquarie and do mm. that. But you're like, no, let me go and do a course in plumbing. Like, talk to someone who thinks that maybe you degraded yourself. Mm. Um, I must say, what I will say to you is the fact that, indeed, you will degrade yourself mm -hmm. if you do this. If you do, if you take this path, right. you will degrade yourself. I must say that. Now, but degradation is basically depends on, you know, the, who, who is measuring this degradation. Like, right. who is it that determines? Who is quantifying? Exactly, who quantifies it? Right. Who determines right. when degradation has begun? Okay. Or when one is degrading themselves? Right. And the thing about that is it's society. Yes. It's, yes, it's your friends, it's your family, it's the people closest to Correct. you. Correct. So I personally, when I went there, I had some, you know, some people tell me, you know, you could do this, you could be that, you've done this, and, and you know, how can you go so low, and that kind of from thing. From a very good background, from high school, exactly, sharp exactly, kid, right. all that. Mm. Um, so I must say, according to some people, mm -hmm. you will degrade yourself, and they will say, no, this is terrible. Right. But if you choose right, and you make the right decision, mm. you stick to your guns, it's all good in the end. It's all good in the end. It cannot go wrong. Right. Yes, sir. So it's all about, it's just, so society, let's just t talk about this. Society has actually affected a lot of people in the sense of, you know, you're degrading yourself. Mm. It has never been the truth in itself. Well, it's what society thinks. And that's the thing about what society thinks. Mm -hmm. Society has opinions, mm -hmm. not facts. Right, right. And because opinions are not facts, you know, you take them on, you let them go. They're opinions. Right. You know, they do not stick. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about society. They will tell you what they think, which are opinions. Mm -hmm. they are, but, but say, for example, if you were to statistically right. just ask yourself, mm -hmm. how many people have taken this direction? Mm -hmm. How many people have gone on this path and failed? Or mm -hmm. maybe how many people have gone on this path and you know because the numbers are going to add up and you'll be like you know what actually there are so few people who have done this so mm. even the people around you who are telling you this is wrong have never seen it happen right exactly right so right. they so they fear what they don't know which is normal for a human being mm -hmm. we are we always afraid of things we do not know mm -hmm. so basically they'll say oh that is so unchartered and so they'll discourage you but um i must say i have done it i don't think you can fail okay as before we go for a short break yes sir you said, I want to do law, you've left law, mm. then I want to do plumbing in front of your father. Now, I must say where I come from, we are very adventurous people. Mm. Yeah, um, so no matter what you tell them you want to do, they will hear you, they won't respond immediately. But when they do respond, they never shoot it down. Okay. Okay. No, they never. They like because we, we. I was raised in such a way that um, your opinion matters. Like when you say something, it is listened to, and then the feedback is given. So when they, so when I said this to, uh, when I said this at home, what happened is um, the first person I said it to listened to me and said, actually, that's a great idea. Wow. Because they gave it a moment of thought. So basic. So this would go out to parents, basically. Exactly. Talk yes. to parents out so, there who so are yes. so traditional. Exactly. Because actually, before you finish, um, Timothy, mm. we have families that are so, so traditional. Mine, mine being one of them. They are so mm. traditional. Law, medicine, <laughs> engineering. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, they, they are so, yeah, so traditional. Are the they are things, rigid. Yeah. Talk to such parents. Yeah. So um, now, for such a parent, I would say the world is changing. And I don't, I don't need to tell you that and emphasize it. This is 2020. We right. have seen so much in 2020. Right. The world is changing. Uh, now, the market forces of demand and supply are acting on all of us, mm -hmm. on each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. So we cannot stay rigid because society is changing. The world itself is changing. Correct. So you cannot stay rigid. One. Two, listen. Listen. It's important because, you know, in Africa, parents are demigods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that is a bad thing, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. In Africa, what your parent says is what it is. If he looks at a table and says, that's a chair, that is, that a, is chair. a chair. Right. Okay? Right. Yeah. And that's how it is. However, it's important to listen to children. Listen to these young people. Understand them. Because many parents actually assume they know us mm -hmm. and they right. don't. Exactly. And instead of trying to get to know us, they jump to conclusions and convince us that they know us, you know. Mm -hmm. So that is the situation in Africa. So I would say 
listen to these children. Basically, listen to him. What does he want? What is he saying? You know, what are his hobbies? Don't just look at him and say, oh no, that one watches a lot of cartoons. He wants to be a cartoon when he goes. <laughs> like, really, exactly. So right, that's right. what I'd say to the parents. All right, now Timothy, let's go for a short break. When we come back, you tell the people more about how you came up with the, the vision for Mr. Plumber in a bit. Now, do not go away. You're still a very lovely audience. And this one is somewhat a very educative and inspirational episode now for you who actually doesn't know what to do after school and you know you're somehow thinking your mind is a whirlwind of thoughts in terms of career you better sit back relax because mr timothy valiejusa the plumber is here to assure you that your dreams are extremely valid the desk returns in a bit And welcome back. Now, if you just joined us, I'm afraid you've missed the very uh, first segment of this very lovely episode of The Desk where we're actually talking about more of turning into your skill that you went to in school and obtained into a money-making venture. Mr. Timothy Valiejusa is here telling us and he's actually talking to parents. So if you have a parent and uh, they actually do not believe in your dream, call them up and tell them that The Desk is live on U24 and it's also actually live on you on Shadra Kisame's YouTube. Now, if you want to follow this discussion, you can follow um, us on uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's for Shadra Kisame and for U24 Television. And that is for Mr. Plumber or Timothy Valiejusa. Where can people find you? Because now they're going to call me after. Please do not call me on the number on your screen right now asking me for Mr. Timothy. He's going to give you his social media platforms or even a number that you can call so that you can, they can reach to you. Uh, yes, thank you, Shadrach. Uh, Mr. Plumber can be found anywhere, really. Uh, in this day of, you know, dot com, right. you can just, you know, find us at, on our website, mrplumberug.com. You can find us on Facebook at Mr. Plumber UG. Mm -hmm. And uh, our contacts will be there. I don't want to go through numbers right now. Okay, but if they go to the website? The website mm -hmm. or the Facebook page. Or the Facebook, Mr. Yes. Plumber UG. Mr. Plumber UG. They can just get you right they can, there. They can get us right there. Okay, let me just take you back to the vision you're done with plumbing school yes sir. and then you just didn't go to, to a plumbing farm to look for a job and then you're like i can how just just take us through there uh when i was done with plumbing school right now remember i wanted to be a lawyer mm -hmm. so uh, i in my senior six had concentrated on that right however after plumbing school i look at it and i think you know now from here where do i go I could become an engineer because see that's the thing you can t go through the process which is ordinarily the process that we go through you become a plumber uh, you become a foreman which is the level that I ended at that is the advanced level of plumbing so you an advanced plumber which is a foreman and then you can move on to diploma level and degree level and masters etc and be an engineer in all those uh, areas mm. however I have a thing for for not being employed I I do not like to be employed. It's, it, I just feel like it is squeezing me and it is capping me and I cannot uh, move. So I for one chose not to become an engineer because I figured well it should be common sense that uh, the engineer gets paid by the owner of the business, no? Right. So I would like to be the owner of the business. Right. Exactly. So I went to moves mm. and uh, pursued a, a business degree. Correct. And that is why we are managing to do it so well and we are going forward non-stop. Uh, because you see, I apply directly what I get from MOOBs mm -hmm. in the plumbing industry. These are things that they do not teach you as a plumber. Mm -hmm. Because business education is priceless. And I must say, many times we think common sense can work. Mm. And, uh, no, no. Uh, common sense has limits. Uh, so in yes. a professional business setting, you don't just apply common you sense. Don't apply you need yes, exactly. you, you, you need the curriculum for Ex business. Exactly. You mm. have to know what you're doing. Right. So you, you either know or you don't know. There is no in between. Right. Yeah. So that is the thing. So I went to MOOBs and uh, that is where the vision really opened up for me because mm. now I could see things. I could see that, yes, I have this skill and I can use it in such a way, which makes it difficult for someone who goes straight to campus right. because you have business skills mm -hmm. but you cannot even see where to apply them you mm -hmm. just know that uh, you know marketing goes through the you know the five uh, stages mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. all this you know how mar uh, market entry works and all that right. but you don't know 
entering with what exactly. Correct. You have yes. no product. Exactly. You have no product. Mm. And that's how the vision opened up for me when I went to Moves and I could see exactly what to do. Um, yes, we, we took it from there. Okay. So after Moves, so what do you do? You get a set of plumbers. Just just, just give, paint for us the picture. Uh, Mr. Plumber has a team of plumbers. Mm -hmm. We have a team of plumbers, we have builders, we have finishing um, people. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when we get a call, if it's a small repair, we will send a plumber to your house. Mm -hmm. Now when he gets there, you, you will fill in a form after he has done his job. He will fill in a form which is a quality form. So the quality form is basically to make sure that we capture the essence of the service he offered you. So you can easily comment on that and let us know that you know what? this was wonderful or this wasn't and this needs to be rectified because if anything goes wrong we can always fix it at no extra cost such this is how it works now if it's a construction uh, project like we have a few going on right now right we have a team for that now these are plumbers who come to your your house or your apartment or your office building and they'll set it up with plumbing right from the first connection to the meter to the last draw -off. we do plumbing we do tiling uh, we do finishing, we do everything until your house is perfectly good. So yeah. what happens with us is when you give us a call, we have a plumber come to your house. Sometimes it might even be me. Sometimes it might even be me. I could call you and you appear. You could call and I'll appear. Yes. Right. So how many staff are we looking at? Uh, well, we, are, we have right now we are 16 plumbers. You have 16 plumbers Only, under yes, you? Only 16 plumbers. What does it take for someone, a plumber who is watching, to join your firm? A plumber who is watching will reach out to us because we don't openly recruit. Uh, okay. We don't recruit openly. We see talent, we see that you can do it, and we take you on. So if you reach out to us, we will see if you can do it, if you can match the quality that we are trying to provide our clients Correct. with, and we'll take you on. Correct. Yes, so we, we are not going to put out an advert, but if you reach out to us and we see that you can actually do the work, because when we are working, we like to explain the process. We like to, to make sure you understand exactly what I'm doing. Correct. So that in future, you don't call me over something very small, because Correct. these very small things can be a bit tricky to charge for, you know? Correct. Like, yeah. So, uh, so we explain it in full and you understand by the time I'm gone, you feel like you did it yourself. Okay, so... Taking through a client, uh, the procedure through a client, for you, you're giving the client education. Aren't you different from these people who actually may intentionally never tell the client anything because they want to be called again? So for you, it's not about the money. That's actually how we get called again. And yes, it is about the money because it's a business. However, it's more about customer satisfaction. Correct. Because the important thing is not the call you've placed right now. The important thing is the calls you place in the future. Correct. Because getting clients is easy. Keeping them is the hard part. Correct. And that's correct. why we should all have passed VM moves before we manage businesses. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for us, the important thing is keeping our clients. So we make sure that by the time we are done, you wish you could break something and call us again that very minute. The experience. Yes, the experience of having a professional plumber come to your house. Mm -hmm. That is what we are about. So let's 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 just uh, have a scenario yeah let's just have a scenario you've sent um, you've sent one of your plumbers mm. they've messed the client up what happens how do you crisis manage that so what happens is when one of our plumbers messes up mm -hmm. remember you feel the quality form right so that feedback is going to come back to us mm -hmm. one two you can always call again because the plumber who we sent you right. is not his own manager mm -hmm. now in certain scenarios the plumber will come with a supervisor mm -hmm. So that plumber could come with a supervisor or he could come on his own. So if the supervisor is present, mm -hmm. you can explain that to the supervisor and he will handle it because when something is there is broken, right. we will fix it because we are plumbers. Okay. It's, okay. It's, not, it's not too hard to fix. Mm -hmm. So we will fix it. However, if something is a mess mm -hmm. as per the plumber's conduct, yes. remember this is an enterprise, it's a company, mm -hmm. and we are in charge of these people. Yes. So we can always change that person and give you someone better, which sometimes again might be me <laughs> you to to fix the mess to fix the mess yes. I understand. before we actually go for a short break um because after the break we'll just uh, but for now the challenges some of those hard hard challenges actually from the start starting mr plumber and even right now the ones that have actually stuck but you're persevering uh, the one challenge i'll give you is the stereotypes right stereotypes 
and this comes affects us in different ways in that when someone hears that you are a plumber they assume that you're this kind of a plumber they will first of all assume you're an old man mm -hmm. they will assume you didn't really go to school mm -hmm. so that kind of thing so that happens so even when we send our plumbers there's already this thing in your head so we have to work hard to get it out right. and you understand that mr plumber is actually a set of elite plumbers who are offering a very high quality service one two um, again, stereotypes. Mm. Because society stereotypes the plumbing service and the construction, basically these are physical jobs, yes. to be something for uh, Bamisomo Jarema. Mm. That is where parents send failed children. Mm. Mm. So if a child has failed, you know, to uh, graduate in senior six, mm. you send them in there and... Uh, uh, consequentially, you have people who don't really want to be doing this, or people who are not interested, don't have the love for it. Um, so sometimes it can be hard to get quality plumbers, even for us, because mm. we try to employ the best we can find. Talent scouting. Yes, we we, we talent scout. Mm. So you you know you get to a plumber and he can't write a CV, he can't you know he can't he can't write spellings on a quotation, correct, correct. which is really it, it makes it hard for us. So for us we have to train our plumbers very hard. It's, it, you go through a very rigorous training process to get them up to standard. That wow. is the one challenge we face. But after that, it's smooth sailing. Smooth. All right, now on that note, Timothy, after the break, I just want you to talk to government and see what they can do for people in your employment space. Government. After the break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Trust me, I'm learning a lot from this uh, episode. Now, do not go away. The desk actually returns in a bit. And welcome back. This is actually the last segment of this very lovely episode of The Desk where we're actually talking about more of uh, skills and how to make, turn them into money-making ventures. We're still broadcasting here at Nile Avenue at Nakasero Hill, actually um, uh, on UBC headquarters, but it's U24. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are still with Mr. Timothy Baliejusa, the plumber. This young man actually said to hell with employment and he decided to start an enterprise of his own and he has actually employed his fellow young men and they're making a living and they are changing their world now for you is a youth and you think that actually things uh, have gone uh, we way I think you need to sit back relax as mr. Timothy actually in these last 10 minutes educates us on what to do now mr. Timothy we left off government what do you think government how can they make this employment space a better space for everyone not just you but for everyone every plumber out there um well for starters once again like i told you our challenge is the stereotypes so what i would say the government can do for us and basically everyone around us who could benefit from this kind of thing not necessarily just plumbing all the rest of the you know vocational training and uh, vocational skills Correct. is help us debunk the stereotypes. Mm -hmm. If the government can put uh, the vocational education at level, at par with um, UNEB mm. kind of training, mm. that is one thing too. Uh, you know, s system should be put into place to encourage people to actually tell them the truth. Um, it doesn't help if I am told, as you know, if I'm a, in a senior, if I'm a senior six liver, and then a graduate from Makere University comes to me to tell me, oh, you know what? Um, Plumbing is great. You should become a plumber. The man went and did social social work and social sciences. So he doesn't really know what he's talking about. Right. It helps if the government can actually reach out to the people who did it. You mm. know, the mm. people who know what they are talking mm. about mm. to encourage others to do it. I myself, I'm doing my part, and I encourage you to you know visit our website, uh, mrplumberug.com, or visit our Facebook page at mrplumberug. Um, because he, this is the the important thing is to change mindsets. Correct. To change mindsets, and that's how we can all uh, benefit from these skills. Correct. Yeah. Let's say you were made the president of uh, East Africa, five countries combined, and you're in office. Let's say for 24 hours. What would you do first? Question. Um, <laughs> the president of East Africa, five countries combined. Now, the first thing I would do is uh, unify the population. Is unify the population. 
uh, we have the East African community at the moment. Correct. And it's working just fine. Correct. However, we are faced with challenges of working across borders. Although it happens, but it's a bit challenging to cross borders business-wise. Mr. Plumber would like to cross borders, and I would unify the population uh, to that uh, accord. Correct. Now, uh, you've been a lovely audience. It is, it is a wrap. Anything else you want to tell the people out there watching? Uh, I would like to tell the people, ladies and gentlemen, anybody can be a plumber. You can be a plumber as a matter of fact. This moment, congratulations. <laughs> you are a plumber. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Shadra Kisame for you. All right, now you've been a lovely audience. Thank you very much for watching the desk on U24. Anyone can be a plumber. This young man is actually very enthusiastic. Now, it's been lovely, lovely being with you. Good night, good luck, adios for God and my country. God bless beautiful Uganda.